FNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of uh, mostly cloudy and mostly sunny. How can it be both of those? It can't. It's mostly sunny. Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently we have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. You've got the Dow off 121 points, about 4 tenths of percent. S&P down 37. That's about 1 percent. Nearly 2 percent for the NASDAQ 100. 227 points. Russell's off 1 and 3 tenths or 24. 2 and 7 tenths for the semis. The trannies are down a quarter percent. Uh, you've got gold trading up 13 bucks, 726, 1726.90 is the print there. Silver's off 11 cents at 1860. Lights recruit is flat at 96 and a quarter. Natural gas up 33 cents, eight dollars and 15 cents. I believe that's taking out his TD9 count. Top out there says so a strong momentum move to the upside. 30 treasures up two points, 142.12. Let's take a look at our nine panel market update chart. What do we have? We have the ES mini chart up here. Uh, getting close, no cigar, but getting close to the one-to-one -one price projection of 40.34. The actual high today, 40.16. If you get a bearish reversal candle, is that a confirmed sell the D point or Gartley sell pattern? Maybe. If we take a look at the spot volatility index, you can see it's still well below its 50-day exponential moving average. That usually puts the wind at the sales for the S&P 500 until we get a topping pattern. If we take a look at the NQ, now the NQ's chart right now, if this were the close of the NQ session, you do have a sell the D point or a Gartley sell pattern because you've got a bear sash candle after the completion of its one-to-one -one A to B equals CD to the upside. So maybe the NQ, that is the one that is driving the markets out here. The U.S. dollar index is right now trading slightly below the bullish structure profile at 106.43. If we get a close below 106.43, really it's two consecutive close, but if you get one consecutive close below that, that's going to suggest that the U.S. dollar index may be headed back to the 103 area. Gold, uh, forming a nice uh, bottom pattern yesterday. Uh, today's rally has stalled at the bottom of its daily profile. So we know that it's 1736.90, where it used to be all the buyers that are there. That's now where the sellers are at, and price is going to have to get through that area. If you take a look at silver, it formed a nice bottom yesterday as well. Also, it has resistance. It's real resistance levels at 1923. If you take a look at light sweet crude, just consolidating with inside its daily profile. It's between the range of 90.48 to 102.22. And yes, natural gas is September contract trading above 7.925 and it closed above that with the gated signal it suggests they move back to its recent high. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Set Show. Pick it off to start for Friday. Have a fantastic one. Thanks so much for joining us here at TFN. Have a great weekend and we'll look forward to seeing you on Monday. Take care.